What is up gang? Uncle Trav and company coming to you from the Mount Juliet area, just on the edge of Hermitage. Uh, doing a little bit of a fun, another rebuild today, but this one has a couple unique things and some creepy crawlies that we'll talk about later, but let's take a look at what's going on over here. This pond is, as you can see, it was sort of an older style, what we call the flat stack. And it just had a, a nice simple little uh, waterfall that we're gonna do our best to recreate over here on the right. But it didn't have, uh, it didn't have a skimmer and uh, its only filtration was a pressurized filter, which we'll talk about in a minute as well. But the shelves were a little different than what we normally do. So what John's doing here is he's just cleaning off the old existing shelf, throwing the uh, excess dirt into the bottom. We're gonna bring that bottom up a little higher to get our, our normal uh, 24 inches of uh, finish depth. And then we're gonna put a skimmer over here and then our 2500 bio falls on this side. Um, should be a fun little couple days project if the weather cooperates. John actually just said this thing makes him feel like he's in a Star Wars movie, which is funny because I often, oftentimes refer to these things as R2-D2 units. Um, this is just an old pressurized filter. Um, some of you might've seen these on old uh, swimming pools. They had sand in them. These do have some sort of, you can kind of hear it. They had some sort of bio ball kind of media in there. Um, the idea behind it is the bio balls are in here. And once a week you would come out and you would turn this guy and it would force the water to kind of churn those bio balls up. And then you change it over here to back flush and it kicks all the nasty water out the side. But using a skimmer and a bio falls is much more uh, biologically efficient. So we're gonna haul this guy out of here for the homeowner. There's no need in keeping that. This is a giant pile of dirt that Montana just went and picked up for us. This is just sifted topsoil from I believe he had to go to Lebanon to get it. But the way that old pond was constructed, there was no dirt left over to create a berm. Um, what they ended up doing instead was stacking a, bunch, uh, stacking a bunch of flat rocks up to make a berm. And that created the problem that John and I ran into, which were four different snakes just living in the rock work in this pond. Yeah. Snake farm. Oh, yeah. Number four. Oh, God. Ooh. That's a big boy. Oh, he is coming out fighting. He's pissed. Oh, he's crushed. Oh, uh, I don't think he's crushed. He was just had that on his back and he was like, that didn't feel great. When you have basically a pile of rocks with no mortar or nothing in between them, that's really good cover for a snake because nothing can get to him in there. Chipmunks also like to live in there and then they start chewing on your liner. All this flat rock is what we took out of the pond. This is a drainage ditch that runs on the back side of the homeowner's property. And uh, one thing we always ask customers when we're uh, demoing a pond is where would you like us to put the rock that we take out? Because there's gonna be rock left over. Um, and he was tired of this washing out down here. So problem solved. And then these are some of the rocks we're gonna use um, to stack back in kind of JVI style. Um, we might need to pull a couple more off the yard when we get back to the shop, but this will easily get us started today. And we got some gravel here, but Montana's gonna have to make another, well, I would say run, but he can't do any kind of running right now. He hurt his knee, so he's on light duty. So he's, he's got the supervisor job of driving and getting material. I am on light duty. Why am I on light duty? I tore my ACL. I had the grand idea to uh, dress up in historically accurate 11th century armor and uh, go fight people and uh it's very fun highly recommend it um just uh you know try to stay in your weight class because the guy i fought was six foot three and 285 pounds and uh he kind of folded my knee over myself so that is why i am torn and broken at the moment but just my body not my spirit i guess i'm the only one well jamie and i we wear okay. we wear the overalls is that right it's like a it's like a utility onesie. It's great. All right, gang, it's another one wrapped up here in Mount Juliet. We have had everything on this job. Sunshine, clouds, cold, we had rain. John and I actually put a tent up to get some of the stuff done the other day. It's supposed to be a two day job, it ended up being about two and a half. Uh, we had some muddy conditions with the rain, but you know, we kept our heads down and powered through. And uh, I think we got a great looking waterfall over here. Let's take a look at what's going on. So if you guys remember from the before video and the before shots, the homeowner had kind of the uh, 15 to 20 year ago, kind of flat stack style, uh, just spilling off right into the pond. Um, they wanted to keep that, but they said uh, famous last words. They said, we trust you to do whatever you want. I try to listen to the homeowner when they speak. So I took a different flat rock that as you can see has sort of a point on it. 
and it had a flat edge on the back here that bumped right up to the biofalls. So that gives us this nice split, sort of not quite 180 degree split on here, but I think it's got a cool split and it kind of kind of fans out and it just, it, if you can see, it gets such good aeration. It's got great sound, even about 30 feet away, but even with all this wind in the open area, I love this thing. This is one of my favorite ones so far this year. So there you have it, gang. Added a nice little simple landscape package with the Japanese maple in the back. Finished it off with some pine straw to match what the homeowner had. Got everything cleaned up. It is Thursday, so that means end of the week for us. In the meantime, what you can do is like, follow, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Do you like the split falls? Do you not like the split falls? In the meantime, Uncle Trav, I'm gonna get out of here and I'll see you next time. Cheers.